President Biden has also increased the call for people to wear masks in public. He signed executive orders for federal employees and for anyone using public transportation. But there are questions about how the rules for commuters would be enforced. Here's NBC5's Charlie Roger Husky. It's the rule to ride a CTA bus, you have to wear a mask. 62, Archer. Therese Rendak says she's happy for the rule and a new national mandate to back it up. Yes, actually I am. That's a good thing because, uh, you know, a lot of people aren't doing it. And now with the new strains, you know, we need everybody to follow, follow the rules. Last week, President Joe Biden signed an executive order mandating the wearing of masks on all forms of public transportation, including planes, <laughs> trains, and intercity buses. At Chicago's Greyhound station, rider Mark Kalmus says he's happy to comply. It's actually good for those around us because you never know who may have COVID or anything like that, so it's just a precaution. Andrew Bridges feels the same way, but he says not all riders do. I would say almost everybody. Uh, there, there's usually one or two grumblers. Greyhound says it supports the mask mandate and when possible also limits the number of passengers on board to increase physical distancing. And while almost every major transit agency already has rules about wearing masks, they say the biggest problem is compliance. Metra says its conductors are supplied with masks to offer its customers, and that fewer than 1% of its passengers don't wear masks. The CTA too says it supports the mandate and has required masks since May of last year. However, the transit agency places the safety of its employees as a top priority and will not ask employees to risk their personal safety to confront someone not wearing a mask. Still drivers say more people are complying. A lot of people wear masks? Yes, they are. Good thing? Yes. And now it's the law in the loop. Charlie Wojciechowski, NBC5 News. Our thanks to Charlie.